I'm Tom Vassell, and we are here on the cruise line. We're about to get on the cruise ship. Welcome to the Dice Tower 2023 blog. Here we go. This is the library. Kenny set it all up this last week while the rest of us were doing everything back at the office. So he got to do a back-to-back -back cruise, which uh, would be fun if he didn't have to unload every single one of these games from boxes. This is the All Play table that we're going to be showing off and actually uh, giving away as a prize. Some of the folks here from All Play and everything. This is the registration area. Over here we have the registration gang. And there's the t-shirt gang, they're at lunch. I got crazy nachos here on the first day. Tacos. Tacos. There's Jason. And wet travel. And there's people waiting patiently for us to open up. And we still are about to leave Miami. The view's pretty nice from in here in the Windjammer. And we have a bunch of other Dice Tower crew around everywhere, but everybody's getting ready for check-in. All right, over here we got Justin, the new web director. What's up? Maybe a face that you're not too familiar with. What are you there. in charge of here? Oh. I am taking care of S through Z. So, S through Z, so, Garcia. So Cornelius, Ronald. that's you. That's Ronald, Ronald Wall. that's you. Yeah. Amy, you're a slacker. A familiar face, Mr. Eric Summer. Oh, hi there. I was just wondering when you're going to come talk to me. I'll do what I want. Eric, what are you in charge of here? What are you going to royally mess up? I'm going to royally mess up L through R. All right. Douglas Lendera, sorry that you had to talk with Eric. The voice summer. I'm the consolation prize. Corey, our good friend Corey Thompson, who does Dice Tower News. Yeah. How are you doing, sir? What are you in charge of here? I am in charge of badges okay. uh, of indeterminate letters because we don't want to talk about it. We don't want to talk about. This was a mistake. We got smiley faces here on the first timer badges so that people have to be nice to you. But if you've been on the cruise many times like Julie, we don't have to be nice to you. No, you don't have to at all. And she won't be nice back to me, right? Fair. Yeah. Yes. Demonstrate it. Get out. People are getting ready over there. We got Roy showing Brian how to operate a phone. They're going to shake hands with Tom. That's going to be the opening of the whole operation. Come through, shake hands with one Tom Vassell. Get their badge uh, in the alphabetized lines we talked about. Yes, uh, Take a selfie with Roy and Brian, and then they're going to go pick up their t-shirts. And here is registration in full bloom. Look at that. Tons of people, lots of red because we're handing out red shirts. There's Joey Evans, not doing anything, just standing there. The headstone has been officially laid and uh, my diet is done. We are just a few hours in and the library is already filling up with people. We've got tons of people playing, lots of different games. We've got some heavy stuff, we got some light stuff, got some party games. It's going to be a lot fuller tonight. So this is Dizzy's. This is the 14th floor, uh, 14th deck, sorry, of the ship. And we're about to do a Christian worship service here because it's Sunday. Tom will be here shortly to teach Ready, Set, Bet. But man, great view. You can still see Miami. So uh, we'll be leaving in a few hours. We've got Kenny working hard, checking people in and out, and Camilla saving the day by getting badges done. Still checking people in, getting everybody ready, getting everybody excited to have a blast here on the cruise. I think we should go check out the library and see what's going on down there too. It's very rude to film people without their permission. <laughs> I'm here checking out at the Dice Tower Library. Everybody here playing tons of different games, having a blast. Here's Jason yelling at people on the phone. That's what he normally does. We have lots of awesome spaces you can sit in right here, watching the ocean sail by as we're getting ready to eat dinner. What well, is this something you don't see every day at a Dice Tower convention? <laughs> it is day two of the cruise. Uh, we're here in Nassau, Bahamas. And as you can see, the days that we're on the shore are the quieter days down here in the gaming room. Still plenty of gaming going on, flags and opportunities to play with people and jump into games, but much quieter, much more room to breathe. Here we are in the back of the ship. We're in Nassau right now. I'm looking out the back of the ship. It's a beautiful day. It's 72 degrees right now. Um, a little cool maybe for some swimming and stuff, but you know, this is the coolest I've ever seen, but it's just gorgeous out here. One of the fun things about shore days is being pulled right up to port against another one of these cruise ships and just kind of comparing and contrasting. It is 7.40 in the morning here. Um, this is day three, Tuesday of the cruise. 
A lot of people here. I came in at 5.30, and there was already one full gaming table playing. Now it's going to start popping much soon. We're at, all, we're at sea all day today, so today is going to be games all day long. Of course, people are going to go see things like the ice skating show and stuff like that. Look at who's on the TV. The Dice Tower has their own channel here on the cruise ship, playing our own videos. A little announcement video here from Jason. This is the Cafe Promenade. This is where it's at. You got pizza, you got ice cream, you got snacks and treats and all that delicious stuff. Abracadabra. They say that misery I loves company. Day two, we're at sea, so everybody's gaming. Look at Chuck Mangione. I'm trying to build a tower thing here. I don't know how well I'm doing, uh, but Jordan is also playing blue. And we're trying to make a pool, and this looks whack. This looks amazing. Man, folks, anything you can think of is being played. There's definitely some hot games. Uh, we're seeing things like Scout being played a lot. Um, Planet Unknown has been getting a ton of play. Heat from Days of Wonders has been getting a lot of buzz. Heroes of Land, Air, and Sea here on the Dice Tower Cruise. I'm playing some bird folks. We got some cats over here. Guami, of course, is playing the purple. Roy doing his traditional Did teach. You know? Yeah, only five players, Roy. I expected better of you. Uh, five players is still a lot. But I mean, yeah, I'm seeing all sorts of stuff. I just got off of a big mega game of Magical Athlete, but there's all sorts of stuff being played. So. Now it's time for me to go run some ready, set, bet. So when I'm on a cruise ship, oftentimes I have this kind of a fantasy that one of these days I'm gonna run into a celebrity or something while I'm on. Cr cr Jordan? Sh is that Jordan? Is this Jordan? My dreams have come true, Jordan. Of course, it's always amazing to me to come out and just see the awesomeness of the ocean. Look at all these rich people. <laughs> We're playing here where most people eat at the buffet. We're playing games. Good morning to the Haitian dock. You can see that we've pulled in and it's looking pretty great over there. What a nice scenic vista over the water, all that greenery, all that for dancing over there. And I always like to go off the path and do all sorts of different stuff, even though we technically are on the path, but you know. So here's a dragon coaster. Look at these cool sleds. About to get onto one of them and go zipping down this hill. All right, we going up the hill. I am up at the top of the Dragon Coaster Dragon Flight Zip Line. And look at this view. We're gonna go zipping all the way down this, down to the bottom of the ship. Let me give you a little panorama. You can see the ship right there in the background. Got some nice waves crashing against the rocks. Oh, it's still going up. Not a bad way to spend a day. I can't see Jamaica. That would make sense. Alright, here we are, formal night. 
most of us got dressed up. Not quite lobster night yet. That's coming in a couple of nights. But uh, I'm awaiting it with bated breath. It's fancy dinner night. So all around here, everybody's eating. Oh, look at the grandbaby! Some folks here dressed up, looking all dapper, such as one Mr. Eric Summer right here. Ho, ho, ho! Look at him! I'm not gonna go as far as the shoes, don't worry. Your shoes are terrible. Here we are in the middle of Jamaica. Gorgeous view. Yes! 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 It is Indian night tonight, folks. <laughs> one of the best recommendations we've had was to have one of these sign-up boards over here where players can sign up for games. Roy's going to teach a game of Last Light uh, at 7.30 tonight. And people have already filled in the slots there. Blood on the Clock Tower. I'm going to teach a game of Golem because uh, I've had someone request if I would teach it to them. And I'm just going to open it up and let people know, hey, Friday, 9 o'clock in the morning, I'll be doing that. Here at the Windjammer, everybody playing tons of different games. I'm over here teaching this random craziness. Um, but yeah, Joey, the magician. Finally! A bunch of chairs all pushed in a circle. A big spooky book. I know Battlestar Galactica when I see it. <laughs> we just played Foundations of Rome and it came down to a tie. So we are looking for the tiebreaker to see who won. It might be me. It also might be, what was your name again? Phil. Phil. <laughs> it was probably Phil. Well, I'm up in the Windjammer and this makes me really happy because there's not only blood on the clock tower going on, but when I come over here, there's blood on the clock tower going on. We are currently docked at Falmouth, Jamaica, but you can see that the, uh, the gaming area is still doing pretty well. It's definitely a little bit lighter than it would be on a sea day. Chris is foisting vegetable stock among, against, uh, you know, the unsuspecting public as always, but uh, I'm sure they'll, they'll forgive him for it at some point. Look at this. Table presence. Table presence. Mini is alert. About three in the afternoon. Definitely we are docked, but a lot of folks are just staying on the ship playing games, having a good time. I myself just taught First Empires, had a great game of that. Labor Day. Oh, you took mine! <laughs> Arc Nova, a game that seems to be almost constantly out. Hey guys, Slinger, what are you doing here? We're playing Furnace Interbellum. What? Interbellum, is that some sort of expansion thing that I still haven't played for some reason, it, Robert? It is, it is. <laughs> a game that I'll put that word in quotes, because it makes my brain hurt. I understand the appeal, but I also understand that it makes me feel very stupid. Touring machine. Mm. Oh, I thought we were talking about phase 10. That's Corey Thompson, ladies and gentlemen. Corey Thompson, as always, with the clever quips. Okay, what was your question? If these are pineapple or cheese. Or diced yellow peppers. The internet needs to let us know. Is that a Hands of Teutonica sighting? It sure is. Wow. How are you doing? Look at this. The classics still getting the love they deserve. <laughs> it's not only about the hotness. There's a little bit of hotness here. We've got Picture Perfect, a relatively new and exciting game. We've got Flamecraft. Flamecraft. One thing I love is the different variety of speeds of food you can get. It's Friday morning and I just came down here to the cafe where there's no line. I got a small breakfast. I'm ready to start my day. If I were a coffee drinker, I could even come over here and get free regular and decaf brand of coffee. The final day here on the cruise, the final full day, not the day we get off. And it is uh, 9.30 in the morning and lots of people are playing games. We got dueling copies of Arc Nova. Here we have Federation being played, Great Wrestling Trail. I really thought they were joking when they said that there was Zumba that takes up the whole floor. Uh, yeah, let's try it. Uh, 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 uh. There's folks taking pictures with this amazing large cake there. Over here, all play is teaching fiction. Up here, you can see Planet Unknown. I don't even know what day it is. But we're getting in our last few games here. Oh, no, yeah. Not yet. 
Join the view one last time. Sometimes you can go the whole cruise without seeing some of the cool things that are around, like the this is a one-to-one -one replica of the ship that we're on. This is, yeah, full scale, uh, clearly. And then there's also this one. This one, man, I look at something like this and I think, I'm so glad I'm not a sailor. <laughs> Paleo over here. Merchants of Venus being taught by Eric Summer, always who's right there. Merchants Cove. All kinds of games are being played. It's fun times, folks. So here we are in the dining room, last day right now. And this place is hopping. Library's gonna close in a couple of hours. People are getting in as much gaming as they possibly can. Hey, we got some massive darkness going. All right, massive darkness. That's it. In the game room, we are playing some Adrenaline. Grabbing lots of weapons, trying to go in here and blast people away. Everybody's playing lots of different stuff. Tom talking to lots of different people around everywhere. Just lots of fun here on a sea day, the last day of the cruise, having fun playing games. There's a little bit of time left before the gaming library closes, but I'm working on this. I'm downloading all of these pictures for the end of the cruise slideshow that we're gonna be doing. So I'm downloading these. I'm gonna to put together a nice little, a little thing that I'll be playing the 30 minutes before the closing night game show. So that should be fun. Some of the uh, shelves are starting to be wrapped, be covered. And we've got, as well, these piles of boxes. Wendy's knocking it out, getting it all ready. The ones you see still untouched is because we're missing a few games from them and we're waiting on those from folks wrapping it up. And this right here is the last one that we're wrapping up. It's oh, also, no. oh no! Yeah, look at Mike going. This is the first and last one he's done. Nice, always there for the end. Good job, Mike, well done. The rest of the time he's on the pool deck. <laughs> It's good. These people have no sense of time. They're a full half hour early. This is ridiculous. And now, look at the power that I have. Oh! Such incredible power. Yeah! Yeah! Finding the play mat that oh. we're going to be giving out the all-play table. Okay, Look signing that. All right, and Roy just threw the pen. Roy just threw the pen, which Mike still needs to use. All right, well, here we go. Whoa, whoa, ho. Here you go, Mike. Definitely forgot something we needed for the live show, even though it's just down there. So I'm getting to use the jogging track for its intended purpose. Look at that. That is a fantastic signature if I do say so myself. Well here it is, the picture slideshow that I spent this afternoon putting together of all different people's pictures that they took from uh, different times around the cruise. Now everybody gets to enjoy the fruit of their own labors, recapping the fun vacation that they hopefully had. Jason almost had a heart attack. The real person who makes everything at the place are happening, and without him, none of us would be doing what we're doing. Eric Summer. <laughs> Well, there you go. The show is wrapped up and people are out here having fun, getting their candy, getting their extra program books for whatever reason. Say hello to people like Tom Vassell and or maybe even myself. Some of our lucky winners with their board game bags. <laughs> Welcome back Miami. It's been a good trip. It's been a long time. 
definitely ready to get some more real sleep. Here we are back in the quiet studios. The Dice Tower Cruise is over, but it was a fantastic, terrific, wonderful time. If you were there, thanks for coming. I hope you had a good time. If you weren't there, well, tickets will go on sale after Dice Tower West ends, and so you'll be able to come next year. Next year, the ship's going to be even bigger. It's going to be one day longer. The library's going to be even better. But none of that detracts from how fun the last one was. Thanks for joining us. I'm Tom Vassell, and you've been watching the Dice Tower Cruise here on the Dice Tower. I'm vlogging right now at Chris vlogging, but also you can see me because of a green screen effect on the thing here. There's Tom, but also I'm here. Can I like figure out how to like make it so I can squish people's heads with this? Squish his head, squish his head. Yes, oh, but I'm green screening out. If I squish your head in the green screen, it won't work. I can get Chris on this side of the camera. Am I doing t-shirts now? You're gonna take a selfie with every single person that comes down. Oh wow, that'd be great. Good luck.